<laughs> David Vanderbord on the keys there. Thanks a lot, Dave, for coming by. Uh, we'll perhaps enough for the music. That's right. I me out. What's your name? It's Frank Winston. Frank, Frank Winston. Frank, Frank Theodore Winston. Theodore Winston. The third, actually. Really? Yeah. Yeah, how about that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Met that guy down the village looking for change. Uh, <laughs> he's a nice guy. What did you tell him you want to talk about? Your life's turning up now, don't worry. <laughs> Just don't steal anything on your way out there. <laughs> no, it's, uh, yeah, he's a bit of a klepto, this guy. You know the problem with klepto is, uh, I always take everything literally, you know? <laughs> so golf in there, do you like golf, Dave? No, not really. Yeah, you should come with me sometime. It takes a lot of balls to golf the way I do. <laughs> <laughs> not much to do in my life. I uh, sold my vacuum cleaner recently. <laughs> yeah, I think it was just gathering dust. Gathering <laughs> 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 <Gather> dust. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you hate it? Uh, don't you hate it when people answer their own questions? Huh? <laughs> Stepped on the punchline there, did you? That's good. <laughs> Just recently did a drug test myself. Uh, came up negative. Gonna have to have a word with my drug dealer. <laughs> Got a pair of shoes on right now. Velcro. What a rip. <laughs> Ah, okay, so I'm in a good mood. I just had sex, you know? I asked my wife, I said, how come we have sex? You don't blink. She says, I don't have time. Premature ejaculation joke, Dave. She like that. Dave knows all about premature ejaculation. He sure does, doesn't he, Brian? That's how you met, no? Our village, looking for change. Call back. Oh boy, David, you're a Jewish fellow, is that correct there? Yeah, yeah. How's that going for you? <laughs> it's good, I guess. A man can only assume uh, that you're a circumcised uh, fellow then. Of course. They yeah, must do well with the Jewish brides, you know? Yeah. Yeah, they like uh, getting the things. Well, they won't touch anything that's not 15% off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my MacBook, I uh, tried to change my password on to penis, but it said it was too short. Getting right, <laughs> <laughs> older too, getting a little, little, little heavier. Uh, I'm worried too because obesity runs in the family, but. <laughs> I don't know why though, nobody runs. It helps if you don't step on the punchline, David. Thank you. I'm going to do that one. Whoa, I burned through these jokes really quickly. I know. It's just so fucking fascinating, isn't it? Uh, what's your name again, for us? Oh, yeah. Just shut up there. No, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, the only thing worse than ants in your pants. Uncles. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke about uh, being molested by a family. Hey, it's a pretty good crowd here. <laughs> so this first act you're going to see tonight, he's a, he's a local guy, he's a comedian, and... Uh, as a, as a mind done like yours, so please enjoy his uh, musings, uh, Mr. Samson Cooperman. Thank you, Quinn. <laughs> you want to go in 1930s set? So I was at the ball with my lady, right? I asked her to dance, she said no, so I called the cops. <laughs> <laughs> True story. My uncle Claudio called me on April Fools. This is a true story. He called me on April first and goes like this. He goes, "Hey, Sammy, April Fools. No prank. Yeah. <laughs> April Fools. I'm in my. I'm like, is my car gonna explode? <laughs> he pulls over the truck. He goes, Samson, be nice to Claudio. I think he has hamburgers. <laughs> he wasn't even like kidding or anything. Like I, like I have PTSD for my own family. I'm like, my ass, then my, 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 my neurotic Jew came out. I'm like, you mean Tony, you mean Asperger's, Asperger's. Oh, come on, don't be mean. You're gonna call it that? <laughs> I get it, you're making a joke with the Asperger. <sighs> Finally, we get there. We're standing in a triangle, me, Tony, and Claudio. Alright? This is a fucking true story. Claudio goes, looks at me and goes, hey, Samson was a real fag last night. 
Tony looks at us, he goes, hey guys, come on, what did I say? No politics. <laughs> come on. I like the flat thing, because this is one of those areas where, like, if you don't want a girl to finger you, she assumes you voted for Trump or something. It's like, what are you, a fascist? You didn't like that one, eh? Yeah. It's close to home. Quick sneaking into my next bomb. <laughs> Pub. He literally sits there like this, you're gonna get over the voice, he goes, so I hear them making a Tim Hortons on the moon. <laughs> then he pauses and he goes, that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. I can't even tell. Like, I don't think I have scenarios with this guy. Like, imagine at my father's funeral, people are showing up with their suits and ties, my condolences, my condolences, and this guy shows up with a trench coat and a hacky sack, your father died to my face. That's fucked up. <laughs> I should have video of 9-11 right as it hits the building. That's fucked up! <laughs> Thank you, that was a new one. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate it. Sorry, it's my first time. Mine too, mine too. Oh. Yeah, it's the execute, right, bud? So, Sam, great to have you, bud. Thanks. Uh, I love your, uh, love your life. Very interesting. Different than mine. Yeah. Um, I understand, uh, like, I want to know more about your father. What's he like? <laughs> he gave you some pretty good advice, uh, going off to college. Right? You want to hear something about my father? I've never said this before to you, actually. Um, fun fact, I don't have much of a connection with my dad. Uh, he recently spoke to me after 25 years. Um, because he found out I went to Amsterdam and fucked two whores. And I walk out of my room into the kitchen, he's cutting a fucking grapefruit. He hasn't spoken to me in 25 years, the first thing he ever said to me. Cutting the grapefruit, he goes, yeah, you don't want to get AIDS. Big head. <laughs> <laughs> my mom is a religious Catholic, which doesn't exist, okay? Meaning that she molests children. No. Um, sorry, who gives a fuck? I thought that was the one thing we could talk about these days. <laughs> Hey, don't talk about the priests that way, okay? We need them. Uh, she literally raised me to believe in the devil, that it's real. So recently, I was on shrooms. I kept seeing things in my peripheral vision moving. So I called her, which is a horrible fucking decision. Because she was, instead of calling me up, she's like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. She's like, were you playing on a Ouija board? And I was like, no, why? Oh, because that, that's how it happens. You invite them into your home. Why do I keep almost vomiting? <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> you have to invite them in. I'm thinking, are, so you're saying demons are polite, right? You have to invite them into your home, like bank robbers, killers, serial rapists, murderers. But a demon's in the back of my room with his other friend, like, hey, are you gonna go kill Samson? I wasn't invited. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, he's right there. You just kill. <laughs> Uh, no problem. Where can people see your act, Sam? I'm excited to hear you. Uh, out and about or uh, hitting the open mics? I'll be at Mural Fest doing different different uh, stuff in here. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's about as best you can sell them, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll be at Mural Fest at Blue Dog Motel. What's that? You're on. It's your show. <laughs> I think it's, uh, no, I think it's this Wednesday. Yeah, I'm going to be there this Wednesday at 9.30, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Whether I am or not, no one's gonna go anyway, but let's just go to the next subject then. <laughs> well, I'm actually gonna bring up our next guy. Uh, oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 so. Awesome. Uh, I had a pretty good time. Though. I had a great time oh. chatting with you. I think the world's a little bit funnier now. Appreciate it. That's Thanks, you guys. Great. Um, let's bring up our next guy. Uh, this is uh, the director of a film uh, entitled Betsy. You can uh, see the film in uh, theaters or at festivals uh, coming up. Uh, so please welcome Elaine Merce. Mer <laughs> Mercier, hey, that was actually perfect. Oh, that's that's very right. Most people just sing Mercier, I think it's French, but it's actually uh, not. Mercier, so the film is entitled here, uh, Betsy. Yeah, that's the, that's the poster. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, tell us about the film, man. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, Betsy's just a short film. It's my directorial debut. I'm mostly known as a, a writer in town. And uh, yeah, it's a film. Uh, it was based on a play I did. I did okay. a play at Theatre St. Catherine. I, was, I used to work at, well, I still work there, but... I worked there at Theatre St. Catherine downtown for a long time, for five or six years. I, yeah, I heard you ran the show. Yeah, it was our with artistic iron, director, drunkest man alive, who would, head mopper is what I called it. 
I mopped the floors, I programmed all the plays, mopped the floors, and I drank a lot, and it was the greatest time of my life. And if you ever go to Theater St. Catherine, remember that millions of poets have died there. It's a fucking dream factory for all the, the greatness of the human soul. Okay. Did I sell you on it? Yeah. Yeah. How did you, you, you dropped up the idea? Did you write the story as well? Yeah, I did it as a play, as a play originally, and uh, it did really well as a play. It got, uh, was really well received. So uh, we just, I, I had actually worked on several other films as a writer, and this is the, I just wanted to do a simple film. I always try these films that were like, oh, we're going to get drunk, go into the woods, and film real tree planters. It's going to be amazing. But the ambition and the drinking really affected the art. And so I said, you know what, let's just make a simple film. And uh, this was that that attempt. Now we're gonna go to a clip. Is there anything you want to set up before we go to this, or is uh... this is the first scene? There's a little in, there's a little credit sequence, but I just figured this is if you don't like this part, just never talk to me ever again, I guess. Grab a seat, Stanley. Come on. Sit down. I... Sit down, Stanley. Just take a seat. I don't I don't think it makes a difference if I'm sitting or standing in a meeting. It's, it's all the same, right? Sit in the I chair. Mean, it's still a meeting. Do you have back problems? No, it's not. I, I just don't sit, so I think I'm just going to stand. I mean, the information is still going to be transferred. You know, it won't change the way that the meeting will go. No. I mean, we can all stand. Sit down. You gotta, you gotta sit down. The, the hierarchy is messed up if you don't sit down. I'm giving the meeting, Stanley. I, I'm going to be standing, and you're going to be sitting. It's not a big deal. Sit in the chair. Sit in the chair. Sit in the chair. Sit in the chair. No, no. This is political what you're doing right now. It is. What you're doing right now is political. You're the new guy in the office. You come in here. Understand. Are you trying to usurp my authority? I don't... You want to fuck with me, Stanley? Is this a prison thing? Huh? You gonna ship me? You gonna ship the big fish? Ship the big guy? Huh? You wanna be on top? Is that it? You got a problem with me, Stanley? Then why are you fucking coming at me, Stanley? We're toothpaste. Ad guy, Stanley. And you're right now you are shitting in my mouth, Stanley. Just sit in the chair. You want to come at me? Come at me, fine. But we're not starting this fucking meeting until you sit your ass in that chair. Sit in the chair. Sit in the chair. Sit in the chair. I'm good. Sit in the chair. So the plot in short is the guy can't sit down. Yeah, basically. And where did you? I mean, it's a simple idea, but where did you come up with it? It's also obscure. It's so obscure. I just thought it's funny how if you don't sit down in a meeting, it can. Re I, I, it, it's from a bit of an experience. I just thought it'd be funny, or someone was getting mad at me because I wouldn't sit down because I just felt like walking around during the meeting, and it sort of created this strange vibe in the meeting where I think everyone was suspicious of me, or it's it's less neurotic in my real life. Like everyone was just like, "Why aren't you just sit down?" I'm like, "I'm enjoying pacing around the meeting, and everything's still the same. It's still a meeting." But it created a big incident, and I had to talk to my manager about it. I had to go through all the lines of, of hierarchy that, you know, just because I didn't want to sit. And I had no ulterior motive. I had no health issue, but it created that. Really? Yeah. And you got a short film out of it. That's pretty good. Pretty yeah. good deal, really. That's cool. So uh, I love looking at the cast. I know uh, a lot of those people. They're comedians. They're improv stars. They've, uh, many have performed here uh, on our Friday show, mm -hmm. comedy show. Uh, were you in charge of that too? Were you the casting? Yeah, I casted a lot of local, really great local talent, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, it's crazy how many great actors there are in Montreal. So I think it's, I'm impressed by you, you know, because I also have a lot of ideas, as do many of my friends, about we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. But the fact that you buckled down and did it, like, what's the hardest part about making a making a film, short film? Not that it matters. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, uh, getting the money together is always difficult. People, you know, that is tough. And uh, did you crowdfund? That's what's pretty popular these days. I got private investors. Oh! <laughs> they liked my they liked my art, but I did some I used some of my own money too. Uh, but uh, I did get pro people who liked my plays to contribute. Right. Okay. I had already crowdfunded for another movie. I just. Didn't want to ask it. You know, you ask once. I, I know. How I can't crowd believe funny? anyone does it. I, yeah, I know. I, I don't. It's I'm not a huge fan sick. of crowd funny. I understand it, but it feels like just come to my shows or I know. Just support my art. Every time I see one ticket. of those go up, I think you need real friends and you need to get off off the toilet Facebook. You know? <laughs> I'm having a birthday and I've always really wanted to go to Thailand. What? <laughs> I understand it, but it, it's uh, 
I feel like your art should draw people out naturally. You're a bit of a jack of all trades because you also are the lead writer of Assassin's Creed, the video game. I love that. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> well, like I said, theater, the theater stuff I've sort of finished and then I moved on. And uh, yeah, that's, Real my, money's that's my big claim. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's no, it's fun. I love writing. So, what does that mean? You're writing the storylines or what? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Origins, I don't know if anyone played Origins. It was, yes. Yeah, it's by Akumsiwa. Now, Franz is a fanboy. He's like, hi! <laughs> hi! Uh, Do you like drums? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back into the film for a sec. You, you said it got into some festivals. Uh, where? It, what festivals are we talking here? Well, it's good. It was, my, my friend runs a festival. This is going to sound like a local. It, I was invited to a festival at NDG, a small festival. So that doesn't count. But we just finished it. We just started saying we got into one in Oaxaca, Mexico, which is apparently a big independent uh, film festival, and I'm very excited to go to it. You're from Oaxaca? Oh, shit. So what, what should I look out for? I'm going a, there in it's October. A, it's a miracle. Are you going to go to his thing? You're busy that week, eh? Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please welcome the star of Bessie, Jacob Greco. Nice couch. Found it on the street. I believe you. <laughs> Fuck me, <you>, Jacob. <laughs> I told you this already, but I, I work in St. Henry right now, and I, I, sh I shouldn't have said where you live. Now, well, now they know where you live. <laughs> now we got to say that. Anyway, you know what school, I, is, what school is the boy going to? I don't know. No. St. Henry High, I don't know. Uh, oh, High? No, I don't care. Anyways, I keep going home from work, and I keep running into, like, I'll be walking through, I got headphones on, and I'll feel a tug on my jacket. Or like someone going like, Jacob, Jacob, and I'll take my headphones and I'm like, what's going on? And there's a kid, there'd be like a kid, and he's like, hey, and it's one of Elaine's kids. And they're like, hey, I'm like, oh, hey man, how's it going? And they're like, oh, pretty good, how are you doing? I'm like, I'm good, what's going on? Oh, I'm just coming home from school, great. And I just find, I don't know what to do about this, it's just very weird because I've never, this is the first time I've ever run into a child that I know. <laughs> it's a very odd experience. Oh yeah, just say hi, keep going. Kids. Yeah, it's true so. that I can imagine it. Seem, I can see if that might be weird. I like. I, I, I always like seeing your like they're yeah, good yeah. kids. You're I from a huge family, family, right? Yeah. Are you Maybe. from it? Yeah. Yeah. How many brothers and sisters? I have four brothers and three step brothers. So seven brothers. And then none of them have kids? No, God no. Okay. <laughs> they yeah. suck or what? What's the problem? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> this, uh, they all kind of suck. We all. <laughs> It sounds like the ghost from Super Mario Bros. Yep, yep. Also, why do you guys, you guys love D'Angelo, don't you? Yep. You love D'Angelo. I love D'Angelo. That's the greatest yeah, album. I think that's the best yeah. album I've yeah. ever heard in my life. Which one? Black Messiah? Yeah, yeah. Black Messiah, but I mean, Voodoo is great. Well, Brown Sugar, come on. Well, come on now, Brown Sugar. No, Black Messiah is... I, oh, come on. I love, I love Voodoo. I love it all. D'Angelo. Any, any fans? Yeah. 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 Pretty good looking guy. Okay. Anyways, from what I understand. So, uh, how did you get the role in Betsy? Did you just kind of classic showbiz sort of thing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> bit of a. Slumped a lot of knobs, as they say. <laughs> no, no. No, I was a rigorous <laughs> casting uh, process. Yeah. Did you? Did you, uh, you didn't audition anybody else, did you? Yeah, I did. Maybe Dan? Yeah. Dan, yeah, Dan, uh, Who else? Ian McNeil. Alright, keep going. Uh, I'm just like, they're all, okay, I'm better than him. <laughs> Have you acted before? No. <laughs> yeah. well, tell it's not a person. Oh, I had to cry. Like, spoiler, yeah, where you had to cry later. Yeah, yeah. I had to cry, and so, I can't. So what you do to get into that whole mindset? I, I pulled my eyes open like this and said, I'll ain't blowing my eyeballs. <laughs> So he had to, I had to blow into my eyeballs, and then I'd tear up, and I'd think about my dad or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, one time I called my mom when I thought I was gonna, thought I was dying because I was putting high on some ash brownies. <laughs> and uh, here's how you know she's a sociopath. She didn't care so much. I could have easily been dying. It could have been something else, and I was just high, you know. Right as I said, I think I'm dying. I heard her go. 
she was already con trying to convince me that she was sicker than me. <laughs> I was like, I think you should come pick me up. And all I hear is, ah! and I know this trick. Anyways, <laughs> are you going to Oaxaca? No. <laughs> You're the stead. star of the film. You're stead. the one I was gonna want to fuck after. <laughs> What? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, thank God, Shem G, the MC's here, boy. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, Shem G, the MC. Check it out, ring the alarm. Ready to drop the bomb. I'm not a Muslim, but I'll still sing salam. This is the song before the song. What is it righteous? Can we write the song to make the world sing? She slipped with a room, y'all to me. Not happy to see a Miss Argentina. I be yet a little bit of a shock, Mr. Dead. I'm not supposed to be swearing, baby. I'm asking like little Miss Puppet who be standing on a rope bitch Just like a butt Blood the bus Sucks and shut Never took your way to a light I told you before There's something wrong with the microphone cord <laughs>